How is good everyone and today was the big day. Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi premiered everywhere in theaters and if you're a huge mark like myself of course you went out there today and saw it on opening day and of course you guys can tell by the title of the video this is my thoughts review recap reaction video to Star Wars The Last Jedi and um, you know since I reviewed you know, Star Wars The Force Awakens when it came out a couple years ago, I thought I might as well do a video for The Force Awakens as well, or The Last Jedi as well. So, um, without further ado, uh, this review, recap, whatever kind of video you want to call it, probably will have spoilers uh, for the movie. So, if you haven't seen it yet, I'd recommend staying away from this video. I think for The Force Awakens, I stayed away from spoilers for the most part, but I feel like a lot of what I have to, you know, say involves spoilers. So, I feel like I pretty much have to include them to really get my thoughts on the film so there will be spoilers in this video and keep in mind i'm not a professional i'm not a, a movie critic so my critiques are just you know my thoughts in general may not be the best ones um you know uh on this film so don't expect the greatest uh recap video or thoughts video on a movie because that's not really my forte but i'll try to do my best but uh, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and give you guys my thoughts and reactions of Star Wars The Last Jedi. A lot of hype from The Force Awakens, especially that huge cliffhanger from The Force Awakens, of course, with Luke and Rey. And I feel like The Last Jedi just did not deliver, honestly. I feel like the big moments it had were very underwhelming. I feel like the writing wasn't that good. I feel like... You know, a lot of the storylines and a lot of things that were leading from The Force Awakens into The Last Jedi just did not have proper finishes or just did not have a good direction. A lot of pointless things happened in this film, uh, especially with some characters. I feel like they killed off a lot of things that had such high, uh, such high hype and builds from The Force Awakens going into this one, and they just did nothing with it and they didn't capitalize on it. I feel like Ryan Johnson, you know, he pretty much just took The Force Awakens and just said fuck you and took the whole franchise into his own direction. I just feel like there wasn't a good lead off from The Force Awakens at all. I feel like Ryan Johnson didn't do a good job. You know, I know a lot of people bitched about J.J. Abrams, you know, making The Force Awakens too similar to A New Hope. But Ryan Johnson pretty much just did not follow up with anything. I feel like he killed off a lot of things. I feel like he just did a lot of bad decisions and a lot of things didn't make sense and just... Like I said, everything that was leading into The Last Jedi from The Force Awakens, it seemed like he just ignored it all and just went in his own direction. And I didn't agree with a lot of what he did. And, uh, you know, just underwhelming and disappointing is the best way to put it. And, you know, I feel like Kylo Ren, you know, I want to say I liked the film. Honestly, I do want to say I liked it, but I can't say I liked it. i just disappointed by it. And, I, you know, I had all the potential in the world, but... I don't know, I just feel like Ryan Johnson just fucked it up, honestly. Um, you know, my first complaint is with, with Luke, okay? The big cliffhanger from The Force Awakens was, of course, Rey meeting Luke, you know, handing him the lightsaber. So, first off, the movie doesn't start from that point. That that scene doesn't happen until, like, 15 minutes in the movie. So, they go to Rey, give him the lightsaber, Luke grabs it, looks at it, and just fucking tosses behind him and walks away. That was your big fucking lead-in from your cliffhanger from The Force Awakens was Luke taking the lightsaber and chucking it behind him and walking away. Everything they did with Luke in this film, I was very disappointed in. I felt like they didn't they didn't make him Luke Skywalker. He didn't seem motivated. He didn't seem like he cared. I understand the events he went through, but he didn't seem like Luke Skywalker, and that was another big complaint. It's, I felt like they didn't realize his character that well. And, you know, Rey... My big problem with Rey in this film was they made it seem like she was fully trained. They made it seem like Rey knew what she was doing, how to utilize the Force. She, you know, she knew how to use lightsaber perfectly, it seemed like. But yet, the whole reason she went to Luke was to train. But Luke didn't want to train her, and she was like, okay. Luke taught her, like, one lesson, and all of a sudden, she's fully trained. I feel like there's a lot of bullshit behind that, and I just feel like they didn't transition Rey that well into this film. Um... Finn was another problem for me. I feel like his whole storyline with Rose, who I fucking hated her character. I hated her entire fucking storyline with Finn. I feel like everything, every time we saw Finn and Rose on that screen, it was pointless. The casino storyline or the casino scenes and just them together, everything they did was pointless in my opinion. Poe came off like a complete dick and like he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Every order he was given, he pretty much said, no, I'm doing what the fuck I want. And he got most of the resistance killed. Uh, so they kind of just made Poe kind of like an asshole, like kind of unbearable at that point. Because they said he was pretty much ignoring everyone and doing what the hell he wanted. Um, you know, Kylo, you know, uh, the one thing I will say about the film that is a positive that I did like 
was the the scenes that Kylo and, and Ray had. I feel like the chemistry they had was really well, and I feel like the scenes they did were really good. I enjoyed what they were doing together. So that was the one positive I will say about I liked about this film was the fact that Kylo and Ray I thought they meshed well together and you know, I didn't like what they did with Snoke at all. Snoke had such big build from The Force Awakens going into this film. You know, all these theories about how important Snoke is to the series. And, spoiler alert, they fucking killed him. They had Kylo Ren kill him. They, you know, faked out that Kylo Ren turned to the, the light side. And that him and Rey teamed up. And, of course, you know, he was still revealed to be in the dark side. He was just, you know, uh, you know, taking over pretty much from Snoke. And... I don't know, Snoke was just a huge disappointment to me. Like I said, they had such a huge build-in from The Force Awakens. And, you know, like I said, there are so many theories about, you know, the impact he's going to have on the series. And, you know, they made him such a huge focal point, like, you know, for the next three films. And they just fucking did nothing with him. Highly disappointed by that. You know, Leia, you know, she was she didn't really do much. I one Okay, this, kind of, this scene kind of pissed me off a little bit when, you know, Kylo was in the TIE Fighter. TIE Fighter pop right there, cool, which uh, which is pretty cool, by the way. Um, he's in the TIE Fighter, and, you know, he's refusing to press the missile to kill Leia. But there uh, come TIE Fighters behind him that shoot it, and her, her uh, you know, section blows up, and she goes flying into space. But yet, she uses the fucking force to fly back into the fucking ship and just be completely fine. Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't like that at all. I thought that was pretty fucking stupid, and I just didn't like, I didn't like that. I didn't like it. I really didn't. And, like, you know, the poor character, I thought, would you know, I wasn't expecting too much from a poor character, but it's not even a character, it's a fucking animal. So, you know, poor didn't really do much. I just, I feel like, you know, they killed off a lot of things, and it just, it felt directionless, honestly. It really did, and it just, a lot of it didn't make sense. The whole, you know, um, the whole race situation where she she's on, she's a fucking Jedi Master, apparently. She knows what she's doing. And, you know, Luke was just so hor horribly underutilized in this film. He didn't do anything. And they just made him to a bitchy old man that didn't want to do anything. And, you know, there are conflicting stories about how Kylo even turned. I understand that there's three stories. You know, Luke's story, Kylo's story, and the truth. So I understood why there's three different ones, but I feel like it was kind of like, okay. I didn't really care at this point. And, you know, the whole Ray's parents reveal... You know, there's theories behind it. I don't think, you know, her parents are who Kylo said they were. You know, Kylo pretty much said that, you know, her parents are just people from Jakku who just sold her for pretty much fucking beer money. And um, I don't know if I believe that, honestly. I feel like there's more story to it, but I don't know. I, I feel like if with all those theories, if the payoff is that Ray's parents were that were those people, uh, holy, just huge disappointment right there. So, I don't know. Um... Last Jedi had a lot of problems with me. Um, it had its moments. Uh, like, my huge personal markout moment. Fucking Yoda was in the fucking film. Which I was thrilled to see Yoda. I wasn't expecting to see him at all. So it was pretty awesome to see him. Um, you know, Ray Or not Ray, sorry. Leia and Luke reunited uh, for a brief moment. You know, uh, Kylo and uh, Luke had a little, you know, um, battle. Which, you know, Luke uses Jedi skills, of course, to um, do a spirit. So he wasn't actually there. Um, but after the battle... Luke fucking died. He died peacefully. Um, which, you know, is the best way I guess he could have died. You know, but at the same time, the one thing I did not want to happen in this film was Luke Skywalker dying. And what the fuck happened? Luke Skywalker died. So pretty much all the original characters are dead because Princess Leia, we all know, of course, Carrie Fisher passed away. So I don't know how they're going to use her character in the next film. But um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Luke will be in the, the, the next one still. Uh, you know, as a spirit, obviously, you'll probably guide Ray or, you know, whatnot, but I don't know. I just, I didn't want to see Luke die. And, you know, of course, the one thing they did do was kill Luke. And, you know, the whole emphasis was the last Jedi was supposed to be about Luke, but no, Luke Skywalker is not the last Jedi. It's Ey. Ray is the last Jedi. So, I don't know. It had its moments, you know, I'm not going to sit here and trash the film completely. It had its moments, you know, I did enjoy some parts, but there were just a lot of parts I didn't enjoy. You know, a lot of things that I feel like were necessary in terms of scenes, characters. I feel like it went on too long as well. You know, it got to the point where it's kind of like, okay, this is like over two hours. It's just, feel like it's just dragging on at this point. And I, I don't know, you know, even Hux, you know, they try to make the comedy scenes. Like, I understand you want to inv involve comedy because I feel like the, the comedy that, are, that was involved in The Force Awakens was pretty good. 
but I felt like the comedy here was very like forced and you know they they made serious situations and jokes which it can work you know the Kylo Ren and um, Poe interaction from the Force Awakens in the opening scene you know Poe joking around it fit you know but in the situations that they were doing in this film it did not fit at all and um I don't know, the ending too with the kid and I understand it's supposed to be symbolic that the rebellion's back and the kids, you know, working with the rebellion are giving hope, but I feel like that ending with that kid just putting, you know, the broom up and I thought that was a shit ending, honestly. I thought it was fucking stupid, but I don't know. The Last Jedi, honestly, just a huge disappointment. I expected more and I just feel like Ryan Johnson took a huge shit in The Force Awakens and just went his own way. Thankfully, J.J. Abrams will be back for the ninth episode. Because if Ryan Johnson did episode 9, I wouldn't have any hope for it to be good, honestly. And, um, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I just feel like he took his own direction and kind of just said fuck you to everything J.J. Abrams did for The Force Awakens. And just killed off a lot, a, a lot of things. You know, he pretty much killed Snoke. Well, he did kill Snoke. Killed Luke. Uh, he killed pretty much any interest I had in Finn. Uh, kind of made Poe a dick. You know, he pretty much... any the, the Seeing the rise of Rey was just pretty much killed off because that was one of the best things about Luke was seeing him progress into being a great character where with Rey, they're like, oh, she's she fully knows what she's doing. She's trained. So, I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of bad decisions were made. But, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and say it's a bad film. Um, I'm not going to say it's a great film, but I'm not going to say it was bad. Um, I'm just in the middle. You know, I, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't like it. I'm kind of just in the middle. I just feel disappointed as a fan. I had a lot of expectations for it, and I just it just fell flat. Honestly, I I definitely didn't really enjoy this. I didn't enjoy this film that much. Definitely, The Force Awakens was a lot better, if you ask me. Hopefully, Episode Nine is way better because at this point, I just don't. It just that was the one thing when The Force Awakens ended. I was pumped as shit for the next episode, but when the Last Jedi, the Last Jedi, uh, blah, 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 the Last Jedi ended, I had no excitement for Episode Nine. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't leave the theater going like, oh, I can't wait for the next one. I was kind of like, okay, that was that. So, yeah, The Last Jedi, in my opinion, was your disappointment. And um, that's pretty much all I can say about it. Very underwhelming, uh, you know, just bad decision making. And um, just a lot of letdown. So, that's my thoughts video on The, the Last Jedi. Um, if you guys have seen the film... Please leave your guys' uh, thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on the film. Because, you know, there pretty much every review is conflicting. You hear a great review, and then you hear a bad one. Uh, this is probably the most conflicting film uh, Star Wars has had. Um, it's definitely getting mixed reactions from everyone. So I'd be very curious to see everyone else's thoughts on the film if they've seen it already. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts on it, please feel free to leave a like below. It really helps me out and really supports my channel. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys, and thank you guys for watching the video.